Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Helium 10 Weekly Buzz. My name is Bradley Sutton, and this is the show where we get you familiar with the latest news in the Amazon and Walmart space. We interview people in the industry you need to hear from and also provide training tips of the week that will give you serious strategies for serious sellers of any level in the e-commerce world. Let's go ahead and see what's buzzing this week. We got a jam-packed show. First of all, as usual, I'm going to give you guys the news that's what's buzzing in the industry right now. We're going to have a also a training tip of the week about Amazon Post. All right, you guys using Amazon Post out there? We're going to have an interview with one of our own evangelists to talk a little bit about how much money, how he made six figures on retail arbitrage. Maybe that's a a way that some of you guys can get into private label. Uh, Make sure to stay to the end because we're also going to have another training tip on how you can know which variation in a variation listing or which child item is making the most sales. And I have a cool announcement from Helium 10 about a $1 million business business assistance fund that we have created. Let's go ahead and hop, first of all, right into the news. All right, the the first thing, uh, the first topic of of the day I wanna talk about is just Prime Day, all right? We know we are right now in the middle of the second day of Prime Day, today is Wednesday, and I just wanna know how uh, are your guys' sales? You know, maybe you're watching this tomorrow, Thursday, or Friday. Uh, If you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love to see in the comments below, or you can uh, post in Facebook too, uh, how was your Prime Day? You know, compared to the previous week of sales, were you pretty much the same or you double or you 4x and what did you do uh, special in prime day let me tell you about project x and project 5k we we pretty much were double what we were what the previous week average was so like on on project x i, I our average was about 300 we hit about 800 on that first day of prime day in project 5k uh, our average was about 800 we hit almost two thousand dollars so we're a little bit over double each day of prime day so far and one of the strategies we didn't do any prime day deals but i did it where i lowered the price on some i gave a coupon just so we can get those little banners um, on the search results. And, and I, I saw a nice uh, a nice uh, bump on that. So I, I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys do for Prime Day, uh, special or different out of the ordinary? And what were your results like? Make sure to let us know in the comments. Uh, the second article here was actually from e-commerce Bytes, And it was entitled, Etsy rolls out a new selling app with photo and shipping features. So uh, I know some of you guys are Etsy sellers out there. We just had a recent podcast with uh, Sean Sean, who had a great strategy on how she actually tests her products first on Etsy before they even go to Amazon. So make sure to go ahead and check that episode out. So anyways, Etsy actually has a new seller app. So if you Etsy sellers, make sure to download that new app. It allows you to easily check order statistics. You can actually upload images now directly and listing videos directly from this mobile app. And you can even purchase and print shipping labels from this mobile app. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Make sure to download that new Etsy app if you are an Etsy seller. The next article is from Walmart directly. And they made a press release where where they are purchasing 4,500 canoe electric, not canoes, but that's the name of the company, canoe electric delivery vehicles to be used for last mile deliveries. And I wish I could show you guys a picture of this on the podcast, but these these like little egg-shaped vans are going to be all over the country soon. And you might be wondering, well, how is this relevant, uh, you know, to me? I'm not necessarily um, somebody who's an activist for, you know, uh, environmental issues. So like, I don't understand how this helps me, but this is interesting to see what Walmart is kind of investing into their delivery options. You know, we, we all know Walmart has uh, certain deliveries that they do for their own groceries and things like that. And sometimes they outsource that to, to DoorDash and Grubhub drivers and things like that. And that's not the best kind of like, you know, experience for your, your, your orders, especially if you're using WFS, it's possible that you've sometimes had just some random person in, in their home car delivering a Walmart grocery bag, your, your product. And, and that is not something that really, you know, inst- instills a lot of confidence in the buyer. Right. So it's kind of cool that they're investing to this last mile delivery. And uh, an interesting thing from this article, it said here that in addition to dedicated fulfillment centers, you know, this is for like the, the, the fulfillment for their online orders and for WFS. It says Walmart uses 3,800 of its stores, which are located within 10 miles of 90% of the U.S. population to fulfill orders. All right. So that those are some staggering numbers right there. They've, they've got a lot of stores very close to buyers. So, guys, I've told you before. If you haven't started selling on walmart.com, it's not going to make you a millionaire right now. Get in when it's early. 
get ranked for your main keywords before you know a huge rush comes in and because uh, your category might become saturated walmart is putting a lot of money into their deliveries last article of the day is actually that was from walmart directly this one's actually from amazon directly from amazon advertising and they actually announced last week that advertisers can now combine a lifestyle image a headline and a logo when customizing their sponsored display creatives. This was not always the case. So this kind of like slid under the radar. But uh, some of you guys I, I saw on LinkedIn had had um, known about it. But this just launched uh, last week. And, and you can add to your creatives now more things for your sponsored display. This is not like the DSP that you need tens of thousands of dollars. This is just the sponsored display that any Amazon seller has access to. So go into your creative section or when you're creating the the uh, sponsor display ads or go back to your sponsor display ads and edit them, edit those campaigns. You should be able to see these new, there's like these little toggles where it says you can change a logo, headline or image. And then it's gonna make your sponsor display ads pop a little bit more on the stream. Uh, all right, let me know if you guys are gonna use that. That's it for the news today. Let's go ahead and get into our first aspect here of the Freedom Ticket tip of the week. Remember, Freedom Ticket is available to all Helium 10 uh, starter and above members and it's a long course of the a to z on amazon and one thing that you know has nothing to do with helium 10 we, we don't have anything that really helps you with that but it's important as an amazon seller is amazon post and so let's see what clip carrie picked from freedom ticket in order uh to help you with amazon post if you haven't started using Amazon posts, it's probably time to start learning about them because it seems like they're gaining a lot of traction. It actually is basically free advertising and a great way to expose your products and your brand as a whole on Amazon. In our freedom ticket, we actually go into detail with Lisa at Lee's on how to start using Amazon posts, how to set them up, all the details about them and why they're gonna be beneficial for you. So I wanted to show you this amazing clip that gives you an overview of what they are, how to get started and just where some placements are. So go ahead and take a look at this clip to get started with Amazon posts. So let's first get to know what Amazon posts are. So the first, first question, what is it? Uh, it's basically an image-based browsing feed and it's very similar to Instagram. And I believe that really helps to understand the post better. And Amazon rolled out this tool in the end of 2019 and in the beginning of 2020. So we can say it's a fairly new tool. One important difference compared with the traditional social media platforms is that people are using Amazon to purchase things. So when they see a post, um, we can assume they already have a strong buying intent. And this generally helps us to bring more traffic to our product detail pages and lead to sales, even if we see that the overall impression number is smaller than we have seen in other social media channels. Secondly, it's a visual storytelling tool, as Amazon wants you to share lifestyle images and photos where you show the product in use. And, you, and as you don't have to only post images that are taken by a professional photographer, it gives you the chance to show your product in a more low-key uh, way compared with your product listing page. And this usually makes shoppers want to engage with your brand and learn more about your product. And when I say engage, I really want to highlight that as of now, customers actually can't react to their posts. For example, they can like posts and they can't leave a comment. Um, there are some interactive elements, but I will show those um, a little bit later. So this tool also helps customers to discover products from new placements. So for example, when you make a post, uh, customers could notice it from your product detail page, but also from your competitor uh, detail pages. Uh, they can also discover different posts from product category based feeds. So I would say Amazon is Amazon Post is something uh, between a marketing tool and an advertising tool. And Amazon, by the way, lists this tool under Amazon Advertising when you check their website. So let's continue with the second question for who is it? Um, as of today, US sellers with brand registry and US store can access the tool. So if you match these criteria, uh, but you don't have the access yet, then I would recommend to either uh, reach out to seller support or check your user permission section in your Seller Central account to be sure this tool is activated for your account. And customers wise, Amazon posts are available for US customers who are using either the Amazon mobile app or they are using mobile web for shopping. And as of now, this tool is still in beta. So we can hope that Amazon will expand this tool to other marketplaces in the future as well. 
So let's now go over what's really exciting about this tool uh, that could possibly make you want to start using it as well. So first of all, the tool is totally free to use, and I haven't seen a seller who wouldn't like that. Of course, we can't be 100% sure it stays um, free forever. So that's even a stronger reason why you should get started uh, already today. Secondly, using Amazon Post really helps to grow brand awareness and build social proof for your products. So as you can share both brand content and images of different people using your product, it, it will help you to build trust in your brand and products and people will become the followers of your brand as well. Thirdly, you can drive additional traffic to your product detail pages and we can assume that the customers who take action based on your post content to go over to your product page are most likely interested into uh, buying your product. Uh, so make sure your product listing is also well optimized because you don't want to lose them there. If you want to learn more about Amazon Post from List Set, go to Freedom Ticket modules 9.07 and 9.08, where you'll get a detailed instruction on how to utilize Amazon Posts. All right, so I'm just you know curious. Let, let me know if you're watching this on YouTube. I'm very curious how many of you out there use Amazon Post and what have you you know what positives and negatives have you had? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, let's go right back to Carrie, and she's actually going to uh, interview a member of our own team here, Lem, who you know is not just, you know, some software salesman. Lem has been in the game, the Amazon game, uh, for as long as I have. And it's very interesting. Before he got into private label, he built up a lot of capital by doing retail arbitrage. And this is something that even current private label sellers can do for some extra income. Let's listen to uh, some of the things that Carrie asked Lem about his experiences on that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's weekly buzz interview. My name's Carrie, and I'm a brand evangelist. And today I'm actually going to be interviewing not someone from outside of Helium 10, but we're actually going to be interviewing Lem Turner um, because he actually has a really cool story. So welcome, Lem. Thanks so much for doing this interview with us today. Yeah, it's fun to be on the other side of this interview process. So it's always fun to be part of that. But, you know, this is familiar ground, so happy to be here. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I actually started asking you questions, I don't know, like during our Christmas party. Yeah. Um about just your background and I found it really interesting and I thought that a lot of people would be inspired and it would give a lot of people some good resources on how to maybe grow capital and get started in e-commerce. So could you tell a little bit about just how you got started in e-commerce and like how you, you, you kind of raised capital, I guess you could say, and started mm -hmm. growing in e-commerce? Well, how I got started in e-commerce was, it's pretty cliche, but just started off as a broke college kid who needed to make some money and for whatever reason, I applied to like 30 jobs in my college town and none of them would accept me. So I was like, I got to figure out a way to make some money. So then started going to thrift stores and then just flipping stuff on eBay, like random shirts or shoes or things of that nature here and there. Um, but then realized like, I need to, I need to do this faster. Is there like a way to do it faster? So started looking into Amazon. And at first I didn't know that you could even sell on Amazon, but then once I realized it, uh, I thought that was pretty awesome. I was like, all right, how do I get involved? So then started realizing that what I was doing was called retail arbitrage, but I didn't necessarily understand that term. Um, so then I started, once I started to understand that, went did some classic YouTubing, uh, found out some clearance items in like Walmart's targets, things of that nature, and then just started selling and selling items. And then started with like maybe like a couple hundred bucks but then just kept reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting that money and not trying to pull any of that money out, um, which then inevitably allowed me to like have a pretty healthy sum of capital that I was able to actually utilize. Yeah. So I remember you were saying like when you were starting at the thrift store, you were buying stuff for like 50 cents and selling it for like mm -hmm. 20 bucks. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty rare. I will, I'll be honest. It's pretty rare for that to happen, but it's only because I realized that I was the only person able to get my hands on this. So I really leveraged scar scarcity to that point of, mm -hmm. all right. And I really tested my limits. At first I started at like $12. People were buying or selling, selling me out. So then I was like, all right, $13, $15, $17. And I just wanted to see at what point will my sales stop at $20 was when it started to like curve down. So that's where I felt comfortable at. Yeah, that's pretty, I thought that was pretty cool. And then you basically that same product found it new in the stores on clearance and you were able mm -hmm. to sell it for what, like triple what you were buying it for or. Yeah. 
And that's yeah. when I started, that's when I started using Helium 10 and doing using black box. And then that's when I realized that people were selling bundles of these items or that bundles of these specific product exist in Amazon. So I was like, all right, that's larger profit margin. So let me go ahead and dive into that. And this really scaled my operations from there. And that's when the success really exploded. And so I have, I have Helium 10 to thanks for that. I mean, and didn't you say too, the stores were starting to be like suspicious of you because you kept going and buying cartloads of stuff? (laughs) I was buying like a lot, a lot. And so there was a point where I had to like come up with a store. I could people, the cashiers were constantly asking me, man, you really like this stuff, don't you? I was like, because they (laughs) kept seeing me back there and back there again. So I had to come up with a story. So like my story was at the time I was engaged. So I was like, oh, I'm just using this as a wedding favor. So I just need to have a really big (laughs) wedding. So I need these as for wedding favors. So yeah, they're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, and so another question people might want to know is like, what what was your biggest month in sales of like for retail arbitrage? Mm-hmm. Like what in just you no know, total? Yeah, that was this was really fun to like even accomplish. But my biggest month biggest month in sales just solely from retail arbitrage and flipping stuff uh, was probably like a hundred and ten thousand in revenue per month. I mean, I I love this story too, because it helps people, you know, to understand that they, you can actually do this grind where it is, it's not easy to find these products. Now it it does take a lot of work, but you can definitely do it and make a good amount of money. Is there any kind of suggestion you would have for people to kind of find good retail arbitrage products? I would say you just have to be curious. You have to have a curiosity, you have to have a mindset of curiosity of, Every time when I look at a product on in Walmart or Target, or at least I used to, I don't do it anymore because I don't need to, but uh, I would always think, how much does that sell on Amazon for? Like, can I sell this on Amazon? Can I flip this on Amazon? Yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely a grind. I mean, I usually, I like to just scan because you can take your seller app, you take it out and just scan and you can see what the fees are and all that stuff. So you can mm-hmm. see if you can be profitable. I, I like to do that just for fun, just to see what, thing, what yeah. things are going for. So. <laughs> Um, well, that's really interesting. And thank you so much for sharing the story. I, I do think it, it'll be inspiring. Now, I, I want to remind people that it is a grind, but it's definitely mm-hmm, something much. that you can make money doing. And if you don't have the money to do an initial order for private label, and that's something you want to do, this is a really good way that you can do that. You know, like, like you was saying, you can find things at thrift stores, there are people that you can follow on online that that show you what kind of things you should find at thrift stores, you could flip things there, you mm-hmm. can go into retail arbitrage, all that great stuff. So uh, thanks again, Lam. I really appreciate you sharing your story. And I, I definitely hope that this inspires a lot of you out there. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully it does. All right. Thanks. Have a great rest of the day. All right. See ya. All right. Hope you found that story interesting. How many of you guys out there have done uh, retail arbitrage? All right. Now what I want to do is I want to give you guys a pro training tip of the week here. And I'm going to share my screen for those of you watching on YouTube. If you're listening to this on the podcast, I'll try and describe it uh, as well as I can. But here I'm on just a, a typical Project X coffin shelf listing. But this is a typical variation listing where you can see that there's colors black, pink, and purple. Now, if I were to run x-ray, by the way, remember, you can now do one click x-ray right here on the bottom right. If I were to run x-ray on any page that has listings that have variations, well, what is, you know, Helium 10 is going to show and others is that the sales are all the same. Now, this does not mean that we are saying, oh, the black coffin shelf has 142 sales. The purple coffin shelf has 142. The pink has 142. No, but what happened, the reason why Uh, Helium 10 and other tools display it like this is this represents the estimated sales of all three colors put together. So the question comes in, how do we know which one is the best seller? You know, like maybe I'm a new seller. I'm getting get into a niche. And especially if you're in like the, the betting category, right? Where there's hundreds and hundreds of, of different variations of different colors and sizes and stuff. It's like, you don't want to invest in all of those or buy it all equally. Like maybe you do want to invest in all those, but you want to know which ones should you buy more of, which ones are going to sell more. Well, here's one trick that you can use, uh, on the same page, uh, hit the helium 10 Chrome extension and then hit the button called review insights. And then right here at the very end, hit product variations. All right. Now, what you're going to see here is a breakdown of these reviews on this page. And then you can see here, it says the black has 80 over 80% of the reviews. 
pink has about 10% and purple a little bit less than that. So if we were to look at the reviews and say, hey, this is probably representative of the sales that happened here. Well, the black by far is the number one seller. You know, pink would be number two and purple number three. This is not an exact science, guys, because it's not that everybody reviews you know, equally, but, but you can pretty much trust this to a certain extent. How much is this accurate? Let's go actually into helium 10 profits and look at the sales of the black, pink, and purple coffin shelf. Look here, the black coffin shelf has sold. Let me see right here. Oh, where's it at here? 7,000 units. Oh my goodness. What I'm thinking about that. We have sold 7,000 black coffin shelves. There are 7,000 houses in America that have a coffin shelf somewhere in their house. But then look here, number two, uh, 483, is the pink and a little bit behind that around 400 is the purple. So it w it almost lined up pretty well where it's just one is dominating the black one and then pink and purple are second and third without even knowing the sales. You know, I obviously know because I have access to Helium 10 Profits, but if you were somebody else who is one of my competitors, you would be able to kind of deduce which one I am selling the best based on looking at the review. So guys, make sure to uh, take a look at that uh, if you ever are wondering which variation item is selling the best, use Review Insights in order to do that. All right, for our last topic of the day, I wanted to talk about the Helium 10 Business Assistance Fund program. This is something that we that just got announced by Helium 10. It's because you know we understand that a lot of sellers have been struggling lately. There's inflation, you know, there's shipping delays, and and profitability has gone down. So for all of you sellers who have your token connected, you uh, you uh, platinum members. You've got your token connected uh, to Helium 10. That means that we can see your sales. That means you have your Amazon account connected to us. If we notice that your sales have declined, we're actually, you're eligible for free upgrade. You know, no obligation, no nothing. This is 100% free, not $1, not one cent, 100% free. If you're a platinum, we're going ahead and giving you a, a free upgrade to the diamond plan to help you expand your business with the added tools like Walmart and other things that you're, um, that you have. So like if, if that's actually a $300 value in two months, so we're, we're giving you that for the next two months to kind of help jumpstart. And then for all of you brand new sellers who, who maybe have been struggling to get uh, launched, if you need like a jumpstart, uh, we have a special offer for you. It's 80% off your first month of Helium 10 once you connect your Seller Central account to Helium 10. So if you guys need more information about this, it's in our blog, helium10.com forward slash blog. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, the link is below to this press release that we have, or you can reach out to customer support 24 seven or at support at helium10.com to see if you're eligible for one of these and what you need to do. But we're doing it up to a million dollars and it's not just you know, the, the, the free upgrades for all of you who do qualify for those upgrades. We're also giving you special trainings with Kevin King, with myself, with Carrie, with others on our team that will hopefully help uh, kickstart your business for those of you who have been struggling. So make sure to check that out again, go to helium 10.com forward slash blog it and look for that press release, or you can reach out to customer service to get more information. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this edition of the weekly buzz. We'll see you guys next week to see what's buzzing.